Hey guys, and it's Isaac here. You're watching Let's Play Minecraft. Today I'm going to do some mining, but first things first, I'm going to build a little camp down here. Kind of going to pick one of these little areas and just build a little hut or something, just so I can sleep and while away the night should I need to. I'm going to start off making this. Uh... That was completely the wrong way to run. Right. <laughs> Well, it looks like I spawned right next to the, the last bed I slept in, which is quite handy, I guess. So that's definitely working now. Sadly, I and all my stuff got blown up there, so I'm going to have to go pick up my junk. Bloody creepers. Can't live with them. There's no can't live without them. You can quite easily live without them. You just can't live with them. So i go pick up all my stuff again. Got a nice scatter range on everything. My apple. Thank god that didn't get destroyed. I'm bringing that down here so that I can, um, when I get enough gold I can um, craft my golden apple. So I got all my blocks back I think. Hopefully none fell down here. Oh, one did fall down here. Can't see any more down here so I'll assume I've got all my blocks back. Right, so without further creeper attacks, hopefully. I'm going to set up a little house here. The door there. So I'll do this as quick as I can because I don't want to waste your time. Just throw the walls in. Then plonk in a roof. Throw down a bed and a door. And then I'll get to mining. Let's put some torches up in here before I make it really dark. There we go. That'll do. Don't need loads of torches. Just need a basic light source. The idea behind this is if I'm down here for quite a while, then um, it's more than likely going to get dark, and uh, should I feel the need to, I can sleep in a bed here. Also going to throw down a furnace. Need to make one first. Crafting table. Whoops, not what I intended. Crafting table down. Build a furnace. Like so. Throw my apple in here before it gets wrecked. And these gold bars. Start cooking this gold ore. Put that coal in there. Right, so I've got a pickaxe, my clock, bow and arrow, iron pickaxe and a sword. And I want to put those in there. So when it comes to mining, I preferably don't want to be digging down here because there's a hell of a lot of lava, as I found out from my massively long tunnel wherever it is over here. So I'm going to head up a little ways before I start doing all my digging. I don't know how far, I'll probably just go around this first corner. So if I start, this is as good place as any. I'll start doing my digging here. Now, I think I should just build a 2x2 two two hole to start off with. Put my torches next to my pickaxe. So that I can just whip them out and put one up. Then just see what I can find digging in a straight line, first of all. Right, so I hear water. So there might be a, water, a watery cave somewhere around here somewhere. With any luck. Well, I hear water, so I'm just hoping to find a cave at some point. And the thing is, I did hear it on my right, so let's dig to my right a little way. See if there's anything going off over here. So I found some coal. I'll take that, because I'll need that for my furnace. Not very many pieces, because I'm a fairly old section of the map. So I'm probably not going to find any lapis lazuli either in this area. Because this is a pre-beta map right here. It was all generated before lapis lazuli was in, even in the game. So I'm assuming there's not going to be any. If there is, I'll be surprised. Either that or I've just dug far enough to actually find it. Either way, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get any. So I'm not keeping my breath held. Let's keep digging in this direction then. Probably going to end up running out of torches at some point. 
I'll just have to head back to my little base, make some more. No big deal. So at the moment I have no idea where I'm heading. I'm just going to keep my ears peeled, if you can do that. I'll keep my ears open. I don't like the sound of having my ears peeled. It sounds painful. Right, so I can hear water. I'm not sure which way that came from. Sounds like it's coming from upwards. But I don't particularly want to dig up. That would probably be fairly fairly daft. Right, so the water is definitely getting louder now. And it's definitely coming from this direction. So I don't want to dig straight up, which I just did there. So I'm going to try and dig forwards-ish a little ways. Sounds like it's coming from definitely over in that direction somewhere. So I'm going to continue digging upwards. Right, I hear a spider now. So I must be getting close to something. Yep, definitely hear it now. It's getting quite loud. But I don't particularly want to dig too much into it. And there's one of those creepy sounds telling me there's space around. But, ooh, iron. I'll take this as well then. Iron's always a good thing to have. Still sounds as if it's coming from above me. But I don't want to dig straight up. Because that'll happen. Right, I'm a bit stuck now because I've got no lights or anything. There we go. Um, right, let's block this off. See if we can find another route up there. This is going to be incredibly difficult now because that light is there. I heard a zombie to my left just then. Sounds like there's zombies right through here. So let's see if we can find an alternate way up here. This is going to be very tricky. If I'm under the cave and there's water in it, then the things are just going to keep falling on my head. Need to find a way around it. I didn't bring any shovels down with me, which probably would have been a good idea. So I can't dig through that dirt right now. There's some more iron right here, though. Let's grab this. But at least I definitely know there's a cave up there somewhere. Which is better than not knowing where there's a cave at all. So, keep digging up a little way. A little bit at a time. Throwing in torches when I need to. The water's getting really loud now. It still sounds like it's above me. Possibly all around me, although that sounded like it was coming from this way. So I'm going to turn around. Okay, there we go, there's the water. Need to block that up fairly quick. Oh no. It's going to take me forever to climb this water. If I even can, I don't think I can. Okay. Right, so the new water physics, whatever you want to call them, are making this extremely difficult. So, I still need to go up some. Oh, oh, here we go. Brilliant. This is perfect, just what I wanted. Right, let's see what we've got in here. Alright. Oh, That's what this is. That's where all this water's coming from. Okay. Right, I'm going to block this back up again. That's my mob spawner. So possibly this wasn't the best direction to dig in. <laughs> so, let's head back down here. Throw up this torch again. Don't want creepers spawning up my backside. Uh, we need to decide... To, we need to dig in a different direction. We need to dig in this direction. So if I dig in this direction, I wonder where this is going to take us. So I've just rediscovered my mob spawner. Which, I probably should have thought about that. And this has just come back out in the cave, in the quarry. So, what I could do, it's coming around to night time now, is if I head over to the other side of the quarry, then I know I'll definitely be safe. Can I, yeah, I can get down here without dying. Throw up some torches, it's quite dark over here. And I just want to jump down a little way, though, because... Um, 
feel like I'm still a little bit high, so if I can just get down here. Maybe go down one more. If I dare risk it. Maybe just one more, because like, I want to make sure I'm going to be somewhere where there's gold. Right, this looks like a perfect place to start digging. It's a little alcove. Just keep listening for monsters. Again, like I said in the last video, if you don't want me to include all this digging and stuff, then I'm not worried about it. I'll go back to oh, cool. I'll go back to I'm um, just um, looking for dungeons again because there's still other things I want to find for, from dungeons. But if you enjoy this, then that's fair enough. I'll continue recording this kind of stuff. I'll kind of I think I'll kind of do um, a couple of quarry videos, then a couple of dungeon videos, then a couple of quarry videos. Alternate between the two just so it doesn't get old too fast. I think that's if, I, if I'm going to include both, it's the best way to do it. At the moment, I'm on the hunt for gold. I'm not can't remember how deep I have to be to find gold, but I'm assuming I'm deep enough right now. There's another pickaxe gone. Luckily, I've got a whole bunch of stone pickaxes. I was prepared for this. If I come across dirt or gravel, I guess I'll just have to punch my way through it. So I, I have no idea what's in this direction. I still haven't heard any mobs. So really, what I'm waiting to hear is um, kind of like monsters, because then I know there's going to be something around. To be perfectly honest, when those strange sounds come up, the whistly sounds that mean there's a cave nearby, that doesn't help too much because it doesn't really tell you where the cave is, apart from just to like dig around that area, hunting around, which can take time. You know, possibly get lucky and hear a monster or something. Well, let's dig under this dirt and keep going in that direction. There's got to be something around here sooner or later. It's shocking how far you can dig without finding anything. Right, so there's some redstone here. I'm going to pick this up because in that video I haven't uploaded yet, I wrecked all my redstone. And um, I kind of need to get my stocks back if I'm going to be doing anything again with redstone. I think I've only got like seven pieces in it left now or something ridiculous like that. There is redstone down that other tunnel, but I'll have to get that at a different date because I'm, I can't be bothered to get it at the moment. But if I come across any in here, then I'll pick it up whilst I'm here. Let's keep digging. More coal. Another little coal thing. Pick up this coal. So this is basically what I what I was doing for the rest of my cave. I was just kind of like digging along. Except I didn't have an iron pick with me that previous time. So that's why there was a gold block and um, redstone just like left in the cave there. Or in the tunnel. I knew I'd come back for it at some point. And that gold was too much of a priority to leave there look, in the previous video. Looks like there's just another corner. Well, there's quite a bit here. That's nice. A lot of coal. To be honest, I think I could combine the mining videos with the dungeon crawling videos. I mean, I could try and dig to find dungeons. I mean, there's got to be a cave system along along here somewhere. Oh my god. That was very, very lucky. That was ridiculously lucky. Let's dig our way out of here. And then kind of put some kind of thing in here to stop us falling in this again. So I've got to remember if there's any cobblestone around not to dig through it because I've put it there for a damn good reason. So I need to look down as I'm walking as well just to make sure I'm not walking into a hole. Should be a good idea. Looking down would be a good idea. Walking into a hole is not a good idea. Anyway, I'm probably running out of time on this video. I'm sorry I haven't found anything, apart from coal and redstone, and my spawner, and uh, that lava pit. Uh, before the video ends, I do want to apologise for not uploading over the weekend, but it was um, me and my girlfriend's six year anniversary, so we kind of had spent a bit of time together. We didn't really do much, we just did a lot of gardening, I did a lot of digging, so... From real life digging to um, runescape? Runescape digging? Minecraft digging. Um, 
Here's hoping you all enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you'd like to see, what you don't want to see. If you want me to carry on and just um, kind of see if I can join cave finding with this mining, then um, I'll carry on doing so. If you want to see something else completely different, just comment and um, I'll see what I can do. I'll put something together, try and please everyone if I can. So until the next video, this has been Undead Size, you've been brilliant. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.